We're down to the Happy Puzzle Company with Gavin. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. Oh, you see, there's a lot of Gavins around today. I know, I know. If they're not presenting, they're selling puzzles. <laughs> exactly. So se- sell us your puzzle. What do you got? Well, I'll tell you what, for this year for us, it's all about the Genius Square. This amazing little puzzle, uh, which has 62,208 different ways of playing, all wow. of them with a solution. And it takes no more than two minutes to play a round of the game. Uh, and then you want to try again and again and again. You can sit for hours and hours doing it. If we look down uh, below that, you'll see 30 Cubed, which is a game which was created by me with the world's most famous puzzle inventor, Ivan Moscovich, who's now nearly 93 years old. Great. And that's a seriously difficult puzzle as well. And if you look above there as well, you'll see our best-selling product, which is the amazing clock kit. And one more on this section I really want to draw your attention to is this game Moby, which is rather like Bananagrams or Scrabble, but with numbers. Great fun game, and we've got both an adult version and a children's version. And if we turn around over here, you will see our legendary multi-level snakes and ladders. And so for the first time, you can actually go down the snakes and up the ladders as well. Oh, it's about time too. That's fantastic. Pretty awesome stuff. So if we go over to the other side here, I want to show you some of these amazing jigsaws. Now, over here, this is Football Crazy, 122 different football clubs done in a format of a 400-piece jigsaw, all following the same format, detailing the club honours, the history of the club, the location, some fabulous facts about the club as well. And if you look directly above that, you'll see the amazing cityscape maps. These are cartoon maps in jigsaw puzzle form of 98 United Kingdom towns and cities, and just about everywhere you've ever heard of features in that series. Oh, that's a big series. It's a big series of stuff. And if you move across to the right, you'll see our geography series. We've got a world map with pieces shaped into countries and the UK version with pieces shaped in counties. And if you look down onto the next shelf, you'll see the Geography Landmarks puzzle, which is a 3D one featuring the famous landmarks of the UK and also our Geography flags, capitals, currencies and populations puzzle as well. Wow, that really does cover everything. But what I really want to take you over to show you is our giant version of the Genius Square. And I thought we could have a go. I would love to have a go. I thought there was a step there, but it wasn't. So here we are with the giant version of the Genius Square. And I'm going to take your pieces apart over there now. Which, which square am I? So you are going to be this, this square one? over yeah. here. And I'm going to take this square over here. Yeah. And we're going to race together. Now, I'll explain to you how we play this. What we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice. And it's going to come up with seven coordinates. And we are going to block off those coordinates as we go. So we have got D1. And we have got A4. And we've got F4, and we have got B3, and we've got A6, and we have got D3, and finally we have got F2. So we've got all of those in, and what we're going to do now is we're simply going to race to get these nine pieces into position. To go, do they have to butt up to create a complete yes, picture? Complete, we don't move these pieces now, they'll make a complete oh. picture and they will. So, no gaps. So, no gaps. There's 62,208 ways in which the dice can fall. There will be no gaps whatsoever. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. No. okay. Uh, so, I mean, you know how this works. And I do fine. Know how I mean, it that's works. fine. And that's what's fine. really important to say is that for most of them, there are many multiples of solution as well. And we actually ran a computer program. We created a computer gro- program to actually demonstrate that it could always be done. And we work with the professor of computer science as well at um, Birkbeck College. Oh, right. Yeah, professor yeah. Trevor Fenner. And I'm finding it extremely difficult to actually do this while I'm actually in a conversation <laughs> with somebody at the same time. And I think that's probably because, as a man, I find it so <laughs> difficult to multitask. I mean, I didn't want to say it, to be honest, No, Gav. let's hope my um, wife's not watching this, otherwise she'll have much to say about this. How quickly, should, how quickly should I be able to do this? It depends from puzzle to puzzle. So some of the puzzles will be relatively easy, some of them will be extremely difficult, but you never know what's coming. And as we keep on going with this, am I clear? This is actually really addictive. This is addictive. And it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes each time. But as I am learning rapidly, it's very difficult to do an interview on television and do a genius square at the same time. Oh, I have to admit, I'm, I'm finding it equally difficult. So um, Do not worry, we will get there. I'm determined to not even finish uh, this uh, interview until I've done it. But right, I th- we will get there. I figure that I that might have to. Here, oh, hang on. Here. 
This is so good though. This is such an addictive game. It's very, very, very compulsive. You just want to play again and again and again. You know, this is great for, you know, we're, we're really promoting taking time away from work and doing problem solving. And this is so, this is a really good way of doing it. In an age where, where children are completely spending far too much time working on computer games, yeah. uh, this is something which is going to actually get families doing things together again and that is priceless it's so important oh, I agree, we've I agree. actually picked a really difficult one here um, and what I can really see difficult. it is and I can see the reasons why it's because the way uh, the things have been spread out in particular we're much more limited uh, in terms of what can go where have you done it yet no I, I almost got there I got down to literally just needing to put in two pieces but I guess um that's kind of where you are right now, actually, as well. It is where I am right now. Gosh, oh, this is really... That's all right, we're nearly there. That one there. No, we're that stuck one with there. this solid yeah. one here now. And down. so, OK, but we can keep going yeah, until we'll we can I mean, find well, it. Well, we, we will keep going. But you know what, this is fantastic. Um, it doesn't come in... This is just obviously a prototype, I'm imagining. Uh, no, that is, that, that is just the giant version for demonstration. What yeah. you saw yeah. over there is it's, the actual game. The game is out at the moment, and it is outselling all of our other products put together. It's... Mm -hmm. Huge. It is huge. I love it. it. This is definitely something that I would purchase as well. So thank you very much. That's a pleasure. I'm not say, you are literally a born presenter. You think? I think. I mean, you're called Gavin. You're a presenter. The question is, can the other Gavin do puzzles? This is what I mean. Inskip needs to worry. Gavin Anna, over and out.